Hey YouTube, K-Face Guy here. So really, really, really quick video. I thought I would just share this with y'all since it pertains to the um, home theater anyway. Let me make this wide angle for you guys really quickly and boom. Okay. Inside this box, I think I told you guys in the previous video that I made when I first unboxed the Yamaha that... Come on, come on. I'm going to be getting new Atmos speakers, and hopefully these are those. I went with, yes they are, I went with the Harman Kardon's, um, they're out of the uh, model HKTS TS15, I believe. They're, um, it's a 5.1 home theater system. It's kind of like an upgrade from a sound bar or a home theater in a box. It's like the entry level into AV receivers and things like that. So these are these are rather old. They're from Harman Kardon. They're discontinued now. But the reason why I chose these puppies is because um, they have a nice, really high gloss finish, and so do my main seven speakers that I have in here. And then the Atmos speakers that I have above me here, right there, they're fine. They don't um, have a lot of power to them. I really gotta crank them up to get them to produce something. And I don't want to have to work that hard to get my Atmos experience. I want everything to be seamless. So, these, um, I've, I saw some reviews on these, and they have really good reviews on them, even though they're discontinued. Um, like I said, it has a high gloss finish, so it matches very, very well. And they'll just be sitting up there where those are now, pointed down to me. So, I feel like this would be a perfect match. So, I got them on eBay for $67, plus with shipping included. So... I'm happy with them. I just look for. I just needed something cheap, something nice, but I wanted something that had a good name behind it. And Harman Kardon obviously has a good name. They're um, AV receivers. They're not really, you know, in the lineup. I guess you should say like Pioneer or Akio Marantz been in. But um, they do really good sound systems in cars. They have good headphones, you know. So Harman Kardon does well. I never had a Harman Kardon product. I had one of their subwoofers a long time ago, maybe like eight, nine years ago. I had a subwoofer from them, and it did pretty well. So I trust them, and I know JBL and Harman Kardon work together. So to get you all the bubble wrap. <sighs> Lovely scissors. So my plans for these, like I said, I'm going to put them up to the top. I have to get myself an, an external amplifier. I have one. Right now, right now, the the front present speakers that Yamaha calls it, or your Dolby Atmos in the front, they um they're being powered right now by the amp, by the Yamaha amplifier, and for future plans, I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna get a four channel amplifier, and power um all four Dolby Atmos speakers or DTS X speakers, whatever I'm decoding in, and I'm going to. Um, buy amp the front speakers using those extra present speakers. I read last night a little bit more into buy amping. I've actually never buy amped anything. These speakers right now are buy wired because my previous receivers, if you buy amp something, then you would have to lose your surround back channels to do so. And those are more important to me than buy amping um, because I'm more of a gamer slash computer kind of guy. So that's that. Um, there should be four in here. Anyway, so I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna get a four channel amplifier. I really wanted the amplifier for the front speakers, but I guess I'll just use the second um, amplifier from the receiver to buy amp those and get more power from that. And then I'll use the um, four channel receiver or amplifier to power the seating speakers. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. And these are used, that's why they're so cheap. These are used by a guy who just didn't want them anymore. So I took them out of off his hands. So here on the top, it's a glossy finish here. It has a glossy finish on the back as well. And then this whole surrounding here is a grill. Even though there's no speakers on the sides. The speaker is here and there's a tweeter at the top. And then down here, hidden under here, is your um, spring terminal connections. I'm not too worried about them being spring terminal. They are satellites. SAT TS15. So I think I was right. I think I said that. It's from their HKTS um, 15 model. 
with the five point something package. So these are the satellites that go with the HKTS. So here's a screw here. I believe that you can um, mount these things on a, on a wall mount, but they have to be specific to Harman Kardon. So you unscrew this here and then in you can screw a wall mount. And I won't be wall mounting these because I will need them to be pointed down. So if I wall mount them, they'll be firing straight across the room and I need them to be angle based. So lightweight speaker, I give this about three pounds. I give it about three pounds. So they're gonna be sitting up there, right there, replacing the small gray one back there. And then I might just use those as, I don't know, maybe uh, I have a small amplifier I can plug up and listen to two channel music with, nothing serious, it's some little old pile amp just for like a party or something or maybe I'm on the bus. Kind of like a Bluetooth speaker, but without the Bluetooth. So, here this is, the Harman Kardon speaker. Should be four of these in here. Let's double check, make sure I have three. So, yep. Here is the four. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is get all this trash out of the room, wire these up. I don't have the amp for them, so I'll only be using two of these right now. But the four will be in play very soon. But go ahead and get those wired up now. I don't have to worry about it. And um, I think you guys can leave in the comments. This is a very important question. Sony has just came out with their uh, first 4K Blu-ray player. And it's roughly $300. And Samsung has their Blu-ray player. Their 4K um, HDR Blu-ray player is what I'm speaking of. Samsung has theirs, and I've heard mediocre reviews. That it, it's flimsy, to say the least. It's plasticky. It's plas plasticky. Um, so the construction of it is not, you know, premium feeling. And anybody who is into home theater as, as much as I am, um, looks, do kind of play a part. Even though it's all about the sound, looks, does kind of kind of make sense too, you know. Um, and so I want my system to sound premium and look premium, you know what I'm saying? And so with the Samsung, I've heard reviews that it's a good player, it, it does what it's supposed to do, but it doesn't excel over any other Blu-ray player that's out there right now. Oppo is obviously number one, because it's Oppo. And the, Pan the Panasonic uh, DMP UB900, that's right there with it, and it's $500. And so, Samsung is just not going to be the one that I, I choose. Uh, Sony's, Sony's uh, Blu-ray player came out maybe two weeks after I was looking into getting a new one. And Sony's good. I've, all my Blu-ray players have been Sony, minus an old Philips one that I had a um, long time ago. Now, I think it might even be on a YouTube uh, video a long time ago, three years, four years ago. But I had the um, Sony one last, and Sony's pretty good. Sony's pretty good. Um, the menus is different. It doesn't look like a PlayStation this time. And the building doesn't look like a PlayStation. It looks more like the, the Oppo in a way. It looks very good, solid construction, has a gloss um, trimming around the middle. So it has the base, it has the top, and then in between it is a um, minimalistic, glossy finish, whatever. So it looks really nice. Um, it doesn't have any special bells and whistles on the back. There's no preamp channels in the back or anything like that. Just, I think it has two HDMI outs for audio only, and then it has video, and then it might have a coaxial, and nobody's gonna use that. Um, I hope not. Please. So, um, I'm torn between the two because the price range, 300 for Sony or 500 for Panasonic. But knowing me, I want to go for the best. So right now, my I lean towards the Panasonic. So let me got, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you haven't heard of them, look them up, look at reviews. Tell me what you guys think. If you have one, please let me know. If you've um, seen any pictures in person, like any any demonstrations in person of it, please tell me what you guys thought. Because I don't I can't buy another one once I get the one that I choose. So I want to make the, my choice the, the best choice the first time. So I'm leaning towards the Panasonic because it has I haven't heard a bad thing about it. It looks amazing. It's THX certified. I never had anything visually THX certified before. So must be doing something pretty nice. And it looks great. It's Panasonic. I've had a Panasonic as well um, after the Philips but before the Sony. So I've I had fun with that Panasonic. It's very, very good. So I have high hopes for this Panasonic as well if I choose to get that. But that Sony it's cheaper. I don't know how how different the abilities are in the receivers versus the price, or not receivers, sorry, the Blu-ray players versus the, the price. So if I can get as much in the Sony 
as I can in the Panasonic and pay a, a pay a less price in the Sony, then I want the Sony. But if the Panasonic is superior by far, then that extra money is definitely worth it. The extra two hundred dollars is definitely worth it. So that's my future plans. The next thing that I get in here will probably be the Blu-ray player, and I'm of course make a video of that. And as I promised in maybe two videos ago, I said that I was going to do a review of the Blu-ray player that I get and then do a review of the TV with the 4K HDR so everybody gets the best of both worlds. Uh, spoiler alert, I might be getting an OLED TV. Maybe. But that's for a later video, so stay tuned. There's a lot of things going on in here. Um, I'll get to let you guys know about Atmos, how the Yamaha handles Atmos, how well, um, since Yamaha is really good with their the virtual stuff, their cinema DSPs and things like that. Um, it should be fun in here. It should be really fun. So there will be a lot of videos on this puppy right here. And hopefully you guys enjoy them all. And let me know what you want to see. Ask me questions. I know pretty much all the answers. And if not, I'll find the answer for you or tell you that I don't know. I won't tell you anything that I don't you know, stand by. So anyway, K-Pace Guy out. It's been fun. And I'll see you in the next video.